The best gaming mouse can completely transform your gaming experience. We've tested dozens of gaming mice and made a list of those we feel are worth your time. What's up guys today's video is on the best gaming mouse in 2022. Now let's get started. The best wireless ambidextrous gaming mouse. When it comes to cord-free pointers, the G Pro Wireless is unrivaled, packing Logitech's excellent 16,000 dpi hero sensor and the kind of latency-free experience you'd expect from a wired mouse. It's incredibly light, weighing just over 80 grams, but it doesn't feel cheap or disposable, as some lighter mice do. Instead, it is made of high-quality materials and performs admirably. It also has a long battery life of 40 hours and is customizable, with buttons on the side panels that can be removed and replaced with smooth inserts, if that's your preference. The only real drawback is the price at around $120. The G Pro isn't cheap, but it more than makes up for it in terms of quality. The Sensei 310 subtly reinvented a classic mouse. SteelSeries uses its own version of one of the best gaming sensors available, ensuring that the Sensei 310 has no tracking issues. The Sensei 310 fits in your hand similarly to the original Sensei and is an excellent shape for either left or right-handed gamers looking for a mid-sized ambidextrous mouse. That means it has identical thumb buttons on both the left and right sides. This is a common issue with ambidextrous mice, far it's too easy to accidentally click the wrong side's buttons as you grip with your pinky. Anyone looking for a small, light, or ambidextrous mouse should start here. The Basilisk V3 resembles the V2 in appearance and feel, which isn't always a bad thing. The $70 Basilisk V3 is designed for right-handed users and features the same flared and textured thumb rest, iconic thumb paddle, and split mouse button design as the V2. The Basilisk V3 is a solid iteration on an already excellent mouse, adding to some features while removing others. Those enhancements are also appreciated, and I can't get over how nice the new chroma lighting looks. The hyper-scroll tilt wheel is entertaining, but it's not as useful for gaming as it is for productivity work. The Prime Wireless felt like it was made specifically for my hand right away. SteelSeries claims to have collaborated with a number of experts players to achieve the perfect shape. And the weight, that feels like an extension of your arm. Right-handed people, especially claw and fingertip grippers, will like the Prime Wireless. The entire mouse appears to softly slope to the right, cradling in your palm for a secure hold. It features a built-in rechargeable battery that lasts 100 hours on a single charge, which is more than a week of regular use. For gaming, keep it on performance mode, which will drain the battery in a fraction of the time, around 40 hours in our tests. The Prime Wireless is a bit on the pricey side at $139, but it's a good mouse that will last you a long time. The Naga mouse from Razer has gone a long way in terms of both form and function over the years. The Razer Naga Pro is back, and it's better than ever a small ergonomic mouse with a high-quality sensor and three replaceable thumb grips. It features six buttons in two rows, which is plenty to map several abilities without becoming an overpowering samey blob. With a more squat form than typical gaming mouse, the Razer Naga Pro is slightly on the small side for larger palms. The best cheap gaming mouse. It's an all-around performer that delivers solid and consistent performance in a stylish package. And it's currently the best affordable gaming mouse available. If you're interested, the Logitech Sensor Inside is rated up to 8000 dpi, and it has sensitive switches throughout to ensure smooth operation. The only noticeable difference between this and the G203 Prodigy that previously sit here is that the light sink has three-zone RGB lighting instead of the Prodigy's single-zone lighting. The best gaming mouse for the majority of PC gamers. I've spent hundreds of hours playing games, using Photoshop, and browsing the internet with the Razer Death Adder, which is an overall wonderful design for all kinds of grips and hand sizes. Despite years of modifications, Razer never changes the form of the Death Adder. There isn't any need to do so. The Death Adder V2 has a 20,000 dpi Razer Focus Plus optical sensor, which, although not often synonymous with quality, is in this case. Even if you move the mouse as quickly as humanly feasible, Razer's latest technology provides faultless tracking. For the majority of games and gamers, the Dethater V2 is a fantastic mouse. It has a basic design with two well-placed, large thumb buttons. 
It also boasts a fantastic optical mouse sensor. That works with both hard and soft pads, as well as the ideal body form for a claw or hybrid claw palm grip.